a different type of dream team with an early morning tip in Tokyo. Team USA continued group play on Saturday morning against the Czech Republic. Despite trailing by seven through one quarter, the USA rolled to a 119-84 win in their final group play matchup. In the process, Kevin Durant managed to make some individual Olympic history by becoming the all-time leading scorer for Team USA basketball, surpassing Carmelo Anthony's previous mark of 336 points during the second quarter of Saturday's win. With the win, Team USA advances out of group play and into the quarterfinals, which will take place on Monday and Tuesday. Here's a look at that box score from Saturday's 119-84 win. Jason Tatum leading the way with 27 points to go along with Durant's 23. The U.S. shot better than 61% from the field despite trailing by 7 through 10 minutes. The United States outscored their opponent 101-59 to over the final three quarters. For more, we welcome in our coach, NBA champion and former coach of the year, CBS NBA analyst Avery Johnson. Coach, always my pleasure. Uh, despite that slow start we saw early Saturday morning, Team USA rolling to victory over the Czech Republic, advancing out of group play. Starting to look like this roster might be beginning to gel the way you'd expect or hope they would at least. What would you make of the early morning tip here on Saturday? Well, we got off to a slow start, but uh, after the first quarter, we, we pretty much um, – dominated for the rest of the way, specifically in that second and third quarter. And second and third quarters are really critical, especially um, in, 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 this, in this tournament. Uh, and I really like the way we turned it on defensively. Uh, he's not going to get a, enough credit, but Draymond Green in his 50, 15 minutes, he was perfect from the field. Uh, his defense, his leadership, Shore Tatum and Durant, was, they were outstanding. But I really thought the leadership from Draymond Green to go along with all of the offensive exploits from Levine, Holiday, Durant, and Tatum really set the stage, uh, locked uh, Czech Republic down. They suffocated them, and uh, they really couldn't get anything going. And we rebounded ball well, which is also a problem area for us. Yeah, they're going to need that vocal leadership uh, that comes with Draymond and maybe some of that intensity he brings as well because – out in front of you now in the quarterfinals matchups yet to be set but you could be looking at Luca could be looking at France once again a tough Spanish team but we did have some history made in the second quarter of this one coach Kevin Durant becomes the all-time leading scorer in Team USA basketball history Slim has now played in 19 Olympic contests spanning from 2012 London to today led the U.S. in scoring in 2012, led the U.S. in scoring in 2016. Looks like he could once again do so this time around. Already two gold medals to his name, looking for a third. Coach, we always hear the story and lore that follows the 92 Dream Team, but KD has been a whole different type of nightmare from an individual standpoint. Is this the greatest Olympic hooper in the history of the games and of this team? Well, I think he's definitely up there, uh, independent of the scoring, just everything that he's meant you know, to the, the, the Olympic program and his scoring average. But his offensive exploits, man, for a guy that's seven foot tall, I'm always amazed. And the beauty of Kevin Durant uh, and David Robinson, my old teammates on the list, Carmelo Anthony, LeBron James, and all due respect to those guys, the beauty of what Kevin Durant is doing was summed up by uh, Doug Collins, who lost in the 1972 Olympics, former... NBA coach, uh, legend of the game. He went to give a speech to our national team. And after he finished the speech, he looked at Kevin Durant and he said, man, I really appreciate you. Achilles injury, uh, ankle. Uh, you played 53 minutes in a game seven loss to Milwaukee and you're here. Uh, there's, you don't really have anything to prove, but Kevin Durant always, Joe, plays like he has something to prove. Give him a lot of credit for leading this national team. And um, he, he deserves everything that comes his way. And he's just been phenomenal, especially uh, in the Olympics. And there's no surprise he's leading. He's now number one in points. And very well said, showing up and putting the stars and stripes on his chest, trying to put that team on his back perhaps as well and lead them to gold once again. But now the leading scorer in the history of the program uh, added to the growing list of accolades on that Manhattan mantle, Coach. Uh, one would think that with Kevin Durant and all of these players around him, it's easy for Coach Pop to just roll the rock out there and say, go get us some gold, fellas. But when you have this type of collection of supreme talent like this team does, 
what sort of issues can arise in terms of rotations and maybe chemistry? Well, there could be some issues that arise because all of these guys have egos. You know, I would say most of these guys start for their NBA teams. They they started, except Devin Booker. He's one of the few that didn't even start in college. <laughs> but now he's accelerated and elevated his game to the next level. I just think it's all about what's best for the team. Uh, you saw Zach Levine start, you know, early on in, 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 in play. But now he's coming off the bench. Jason Tatum could very well start. Uh, but now Devin Booker and Holiday's in the lineup. So you just got to give Coach Popovich and his staff credit. And then the players enough credit to be unselfish in terms of what's best for the team. Uh, you know, Chris Middleton just won an NBA championship. So whether he starts or come off the bench, I just think those guys are very unselfish. They're going to allow this coaching staff to make the decisions that they think is best for the team. You may start the game, but you may not start the third quarter. You may start the game, but you may not finish the game. So it, it, it's going to be very critical that guys just stay locked in and stay ready to play whenever their names are called. Now, unlike the NBA championship, I'm not sure we could rattle off MVPs of these last few Olympics. So it, it's all about the gold and the team effort that it takes to get there. Uh, like we said, not going to be a cakewalk, Coach. From what you've seen over these last three contests, from the fumble against France to a pair of convincing wins here over the last week, is this group primed in your eyes for yet another gold? Well, I'm not going to overreact to beating Iran. We, we talked about this, Joe. They should have beat Iran by mm -hmm. 40 or 50 points. But I would say the team that we saw today, they were connected. They had really good chemistry. Defensively, they were able to, you know, problem solve. Uh, their post defense early in the game wasn't very good. They made an adjustment to front the post and three quarter the post and make it tough for the ball to get into the post. We saw our buddy Javal McGee come in at the end and show you that if he needs to play a few minutes and give him some sort of big presence inside that he's capable of helping. But when you have Tatum and Durant and Levine playing at the level in Holiday, uh, playing at the level that they're playing, Draymond Green with his defense, Middleton, I think we're going to be hard to beat. So I'm still picking us to win the goal. It's not going to be easy. It's probably going to be a last possession or two. But uh, I see us getting through these next two rounds. I would be very surprised if we don't make it at least to the gold medal game. And uh, But I think we got a very good chance of winning the goal. He's the coach, Avery Johnson, breaking it all down. Some Olympic hoop here on CBS Sports HQ. Thank you, coach. All right, let's take a look at what this program has been able to accomplish uh, since NBA players uh, started taking part in the Olympics. Only four losses uh, in the history of Team USA basketball, one of them coming against France just over a week ago, uh, three of them coming in that bronze medal misstep back in 2004. Outside of that, perfection. Uh, Greg Popovich trying to lead his team in his maiden voyage here to another gold medal in the 2020 Olympics played in the year 2021. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.